Dogs Podcast with your hosts, Blake Rineker, Justin Charles, John Nye, and Josh All. Hey, what's up, Browns fans? Welcome to another episode of the Dogs Podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Um, let's talk about the second defensive tackle signing that the Cleveland Browns have brought in this week, and that is defensive tackle Maurice Hurst. We're going to talk about him, and there's a couple stats on him that I think will really spark some interest among Browns fans. Before I dive into it, make sure you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new episodes, updates, anything that we're putting out. We're trying to get more content to you guys to stay on top of all the news. It's coming, it's coming fast, hot and heavy right now. This week has been crazy, so just stay with us, stay tuned. There's a lot more coming, and we'll be on it. And, um, you know, if you want to support the show, like I said in the last video, please go to jointhedogs.com, become a Dog Pack member, support the show, five bucks a month. I mean, it really, it helps us continue to put out great content and, and continue to do this for you guys. And we, you know, we do an extra episode in there every week. Uh, it's a little bit unfiltered, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We have a good time. Um, and it's just a great community of Browns fans. So if you're interested in that, you want to help support the show and get more Browns content every week, join the dogs.com, become a dog pack member. Okay. Marie Hurst. Let's talk about this guy. So we signed another defensive tackle. Um, the details of his contract as of this video have not been released. So we know it's a one year deal. It's kind of a prove it situation for him, which I think fits the bill of his career and everything. We'll get into that. Uh, he's a former fifth round pick out of Michigan, you know, Ohio state fan, whatever you're playing for the Browns. Now your college doesn't matter. Get after it. We need you in Cleveland. We need you to step up and, and be what we signed you to be. I'll, I'll let the Michigan thing slide, but he was a fifth round pick in 2018 selected by the Las Vegas Raiders. He is 27 years old, six foot two, 291. So he's a little bit undersized for defensive tackle. But I think as we kind of go through some of the numbers and the history of his career so far, you'll understand what, what his role really is. Um, in 2018, his NFL Combine score had him ranked as the number two overall defensive tackle in the class. So the Raiders got him in the fifth round, and now he's, he's a Brown. Um, he did sign with the San Francisco 49ers last season. Um, I guess I can just kind of dive into that real quick. I'm just looking through my notes here. So his biggest issue um, so far in his career, injuries, like it is for a lot of guys. In 2021 with the Raiders, he suffered ankle and calf issues that kept him out of a lot of games. And then last year with the 49ers, he tore his bicep in training camp. So he missed the entire season with 49ers. Um, so yeah, there, was, there was nothing to go off of last year. But um, – I think if we look at his career with the Raiders, his first three seasons tells a much different story. I mean, obviously injury riddled seasons, it's really hard to get a good evaluation of a guy other than he's not available, which goes against the narrative of the other guys now that Andrew Barry has signed. But with the one year deal, I think you do see Andrew Barry take, you know, some, some risks on some of these guys. Tack McKinley a couple years ago was a good example of a, a guy who offered some good, some high end potential, um, just, suffered through injuries in his career so i think this is kind of similar to attack mckinley signing you know it's a win-win for the browns really you get him on i'm sure the contract's going to be extremely team friendly and he's got all the potential in the world to outplay that contract for the browns this year this episode is brought to you by omaha steaks spring is in the air and that can only mean one thing spring grilling the steak experts at omaha steaks have made it easy to spring into something delicious with their semi-annual sale with 50 percent off site-wide grab all your favorites like perfectly aged tender steaks ocean fresh seafood juicy burgers incredible air chilled chicken and decadent desserts plus when you go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code dogs d-a-w-g-s at checkout you'll get an extra $30 off your order. It's the perfect way to get fired up and spring into something special. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use code DOGS at checkout. Take advantage of this deal right now. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away, and you're going to want to hurry because 50% off site wide is only happening for a limited time. So don't miss your chance to save big right now. Visit omahasteaks.com. Use code DOGS, D A W G S, at checkout. Get that additional $30 off when you shop their semi annual sale today. Minimum order may be required. This episode is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. 
Ready for the underdogs, the upsets, and the unbelievable action from DraftKings Sportsbook? The biggest tournament in college basketball is here. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 on college hoops and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, for a limited time, all customers can score a no-sweat bet during round one and two of the tournament. Go to the app, opt in, and place a no-sweat bet this weekend. If it doesn't hit, you'll get a bonus bet back up to $10. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Sign up with code TPPN. New customers can bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Win or lose, only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code TPPN. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. If you look at his size, like I said, he's a smaller interior defender, um, but he has excellent quickness. That was his big thing coming out of college. Um, He should do pretty well in a designated pass rush role for Jim Schwartz on the D-line. Uh, I don't think you're going to see him eating up too many too many run plays. I don't, he's not like an elite <laughs> run defender by any stretch of the imagination, but pass rushing is pretty good. So his uh, PFF defense grades his first three seasons before the injuries with the Raiders, 71.4, 73.1, 77.9. He had four sacks in each of his first two seasons. Um in 2019 okay now this is the year i'm going to refer back to a lot because it was the last year that he played oh no i'm sorry scratch that it was his second season in the league uh before any of the injuries happened so 2019 maurice hurst had 38 total pressures okay so that year in 2019 38 total pressures that was more than guys like dexter lawrence jonathan allen deron Payne, draymond jones Names that Browns fans are all familiar with right now this week. Um, His pass rush grade in 2019 was a 77.8. That was 10th best in the NFL that year. That's, that was very impressive whenever I, I was going through these notes again, run defense, not stellar, but that's not his role. He's not brought in here to be a run stopper. He's coming in here to help with the pass rush from the interior I think that's a very smart move by Andrew Barry. You see what the Browns want to do with this Jim Schwartz defense, signing um, Obo Aronquo um, to be kind of a designated pass rusher off the opposite edge of Miles Garrett. Again, not a big run defender, Obo, but pass rush. It's where he excels. Uh, obviously, Miles Garrett on the other side is one of the, the best uh, pass rushers in the entire league. Um, and then you get a guy like Dalvin Tomlinson, who's shown that he can put pressure on the quarterback as well as eat up runs. And now we've got a guy like Maurice Hurst to line up at the defensive tackle spot beside Tomlinson and these other pass rushers. I think he'll kind of be in a nice rotation with guys like Perrion Winfrey. Any other defensive tackles we happen to bring in free agency, any guys that we draft this year. But I think what you're seeing is the Browns know what their identity, what they want their identity to be on defense this year. And they're finding guys to execute that identity. And I think they're doing a good job. I really do. Now, am I saying Maurice Hurst is going to be some game wrecker, like just absolute Pro Bowl stud player? No, absolutely not. It's not what I expect. But I expect him to have a, a specifically designed role for him. And as long as he stays healthy, which, I mean, you think about Joe Thomas. I mean, tearing your bicep... <laughs> it's what are you going to do? You know? So it, it, these kinds of injuries happen. Um, I think if this guy's able to stay healthy or even if he's only healthy for half the season, whatever the case may be when he's on the field, like those 2019 numbers show he's, he's very good at rushing the passer. He can get pressure. He can get after the quarterback. So that's what we need him to do. And I think that's what he'll be able to do in this Jim Schwartz defense. So that's just a quick recap on Maurice Hurst. Another, you know, pretty pretty savvy signing by Andrew Barry and the Browns. Again, I don't have the contract details yet. They haven't been released. We know it's a one-year deal. Sure, it's very team-friendly. Not too worried about um, any of the cap space allocated to him. More concerned with can he stay healthy, and if he does stay healthy, I think we're going to be very impressed with what we see from Maurice Hurst on Sundays starting in September. So that kind of recaps that. Uh, Tonight, we're going to do 
a full episode with the whole crew. We're going to be talking about free agency. We're going to be talking about the moves the Browns have made this week. So we'll bring up a lot of these notes. We'll get everybody's opinion on these guys. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun discussion. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that episode coming out later this week. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these quick updates. Um, The Browns just keep making moves. So stay tuned for everything. We're going to keep bringing it to you. Don't miss anything. Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss what's coming. And that wraps up everything with Maurice Hurst. Really appreciate everybody tuning in. You guys make doing this, doing these updates, doing this podcast absolutely worth it. We love all of you guys tuning in. Really appreciate all the support. Go Browns. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at The Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.